I was just sitting here and then I remembered that I haven't showed you guys what I got at Dollarama the other day. And I like, it's a nice little haul here we have here today. Um, my friend Charlie's birthday is coming up soon. So I got her a little present. She's another masculine lesbian. So a card for my brother, very cute. And chocolate, because we all love chocolate. I have many chocolates in here, by the way, I have poppers. I wish I would have bought one of these for myself because I love these so much, but I didn't because, um, I don't know, I wasn't thinking about it. And more chocolates, all the chocolates, because we love chocolate here. And then I got her big thing of men's soap because the scent of men's soap makes me so happy. Like, honestly, if I, like, shower and then I go to bed and I can like smell the scent on me I'm like I'm gonna have a good night like I'm just feeling great like it makes my day but um yeah I have this scent specifically in my bathtub right now so I know it smells good but yeah I hope she'll like it it's nice and big but and then got her some nice pants pajama panties so yeah they're nice and another chocolate because chocolate and then I got her a nice little llama bag because she's obsessed with llamas. Isn't that cute? Yeah. But yeah, I recommend Dollarama for all your gifting needs. Not because it's cheap, but because there's so much variety you can just kind of like walk and be like this and this and this and this. Oh, we have a visitor. Say hi. We said I didn't want to say hi. I just wanted to bother you. I love stuff like that. But yeah. I love you guys too. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Bye. I like how you had him, then you just stopped in the bridge and you were just like, forget it, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, you're really far. <laughs> you're really far off. That's scary. You look like a ninja. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I liked it. Yes, yes, yeah, no, you went through it. You had it. You had it. Go. Yeet. I mean, it's not clean, but we got it. I like how you're doing it as a hand walk instead. You're just like, hey, as if this isn't hard enough, what if I just like walked on my hands for a little bit? What if I just like walked for a minute? Fabulous. I find it so funny that every time you kind of bring that leg into like stag position, every single time to get it over, it's almost like the weight of your leg is just like, no. <sighs> Maybe you just gotta tilt your pelvis forward. Think Arabian. Tilt your pelvis. There goes the knee again, but you got up. That's what's important here. You got up, even if it wasn't stag. What is that knee doing? I don't know. That knee is just like, what if I just bend a little bit? What if I just bend for a minute? <laughs> What if I just don't do the thing? Or what if I do the thing? Go, 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 go! Yes! Oh my god, finally! It only took a minute and a half, it's fine. Try like almost two years. <laughs> Hello friends, we are looking rough today, but that's okay, because I've got energy and it's a good day. But we are on a car ride adventure today, um, halfway across the, sit the city to go to the accountants. And I gotta sign some stuff. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, it's okay. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah. <sighs> My life is not that crazy. All right now, at least. Maybe one day it'll get a little crazier. I'm going to jinx it, and tomorrow, like, something something big is going to happen or something. I don't know. But anyways, my hair is kind of growing out or starting to a little bit. But um, still good. Still good. I still like it. I was looking at old photos today from when I used to, like, dress super girly and stuff and now I look at photos of me now and I'm like wow I look so much more relaxed now 
then I just looked like, how do I even describe it? I looked like I was in pain all the time. Probably because I was, but yeah, much more comfortable in my um, pretty boy clothes now. But yeah, hope you have a good day. And I know I say that every time, but I hope you have a good day every single time, even if it's the same day. Wishing you well. Okay, bye. Hello friends, I am Aaliyah, and maybe you know this, but um, today we're gonna go to some thrift stores. Well, that's gonna be exciting. And as you can probably tell by now, I've had caffeine today. <laughs> A lot of caffeine. Anyways, look at this fit. So fresh, so fly. I'm. I look great. I think. I don't know. I like looking like a lesbian farmer because I live in the prairies and it's gonna be a big storm. Like I tell you. Like I live on the second floor and I just saw like a leaf <laughs> fly up and hit my window. Not fly down. Not fly from a tree to my window, but fly up to my window. So, we're gonna have fun being outside today, and I am breaking out. But that's okay, guys. You're perfect the way you are, and I love you. And, um, a kiss for you. But if you don't want it, that's okay. But, okay, uh, bye. <laughs> a rainbow! You can see the green, the yellow. A rainbow! Purple. Whoa! Ooh, that's green. nice. Should I ironically buy camo? Only seven dollars, but sweater. I want to look like a white boy named Chad. I don't know where the hell it is. Oh, twelve dollars for camo hoodie. Well, hello, hello. You might see from the sky behind me. However, it is might storm. Might almost certain. Really windy. Very windy car was like rocking but um yeah we went to the thrift store and then we saw a rainbow and then we went to like a warehouse liquidation center where there's like a lot of cheap stuff cheap ish stuff and um a giant tiger. went to giant tire which um if you're not canadian it's like a like a store a regular store kind of like cheap. a it's cheap kind of like a small walmart yeah but um yeah i got a new blanket Got a flannel, got um, two flannels actually. Did you buy the uh, mesh army? Mesh? No, I didn't buy the camo. Mm -hmm. It's and okay, I don't now need Now we're going for iced coffees. Ice. Gonna get Timmy's. Yes. And then go home, because I'm sleepy. So, um, yeah, go home, play some Stardew Valley. Because I just got that. And not obsessed with you it just yet. You got it? Yeah, I did. Not obsessed with it yet, but, um,. We'll be soon, I hope. Okay. Hi everyone, so don't mind the red face. I just got back from a run and number one, I'm kind of sweaty and number two, it's cold out. So, red face is here to stay. I I don't know what my bad luck is recently um, with me going out running. I, <laughs> I got bit by a dog this time. It wasn't my, f well, I guess it was my fault to be fair. Um, the owners were walking her late at night because I guess they're working with her on leash anxiety and I just happened to run around the corner at the wrong time, startled the dog and the dog lunged forward and it, I shouldn't even say that it bit me, she nipped me because it was a warning, right? Like she was scared, she was startled, but ow. And don't mind my disgusting nails and a white hand. As I said, it's, it's not even that bad. It's literally just a nip. I just, I just can't believe my bad luck with running. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, before I started vlogging, the worst thing that happened to me was that a bat flew out of a bush and startled me. That was the worst thing that happened to me before vlogging. After vlogging, I've fallen, I've gotten bitten by a dog for the first time ever. Like, I, I grew up with big dogs. I usually know how to handle big dogs. As I said, I think I just ran around the corner at the wrong time. And the, the poor owners, like, they were really, really sweet about it. Like, he took the dog away. Um, the girlfriend came over to check on me, make sure that I was okay. And honestly, like, they were doing everything right. They're training the dog at night just because of the anxiety. And they weren't expecting me to come running around the corner. So I don't blame them at all. I don't blame the dog at all. If anything, I should have been a little bit more aware. It was just bad timing. But, uh... I'm gonna go clean this now, because trust me, mom is already 
all over me the second I told her, hey, uh, something happened when I was running. She's like, I'm coming down to you. I'm coming to check on it. We're going to the hospital. What if it's rabies? And I'm like, it's not rabies. It was a startled dog. It's not rabies. I hope. Okay, so I cleaned it. it. It's really not that bad. Oh, um, by the way, I hope you don't hear the wind in either of these clips. It's been like ridiculously windy today. So, cause it's like, I've got my balcony door open and it's like whistling under the door into the hallway and I'm like, Shh, I need to record. But uh, I've got the hand all cleaned up. Oh, come on, I know I'm white, but I'm not that white. Come on, there we go. I think it's in focus. But you can see like there's a tiny spot here and there that are open. The little one here, like it, it's not even open. So I really don't think it's that big of a deal. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and slap some polysporin on it and wrap the middle finger in a bandage. I'm not even gonna bother with this one. Like it's not even cut open. So it should just heal on its own. And I'm just gonna be really good with applying antibiotics just because any animal or any bite in general, even if it's by another person, if it breaks the skin, you need to take really good care of it. So, but he's far into the rescue. Yay! Et voila, she is bandaged. I kind of wish I had more fun bandages, but I just have like the boring old grown up bandages. All of my nice bandages I left at the, like in the dance case for the girls, just because normally when the big girls get injured, they don't really care. I mean, Aaliyah, I'll have her tell you the story at some point, but Aaliyah has this giant scar in her foot from one season like dance competition because one of her solos she had to do like a back split on the floor she like scraped the whole top of it like she's got a scar and everything it's great I'll have her tell you that whole story at some point but uh you know the big girls don't really care when they get injured but the little minis get freaked out if they get like little brush burns and stuff so I keep all the cute bandages in the dance case so now I'm just stuck with these boring ones but oh well I guess it's doing its job so whatever Hello, hello, it's Aaliyah, and I got a hat on, on the indoors, on the indoors, in the indoors, oh my, but, um, today was the day where I was, um, registering for my university courses, and the course that, um, I got into my other course, because it's, um, it's not like a scheduled course, it's asynchronous, so I get to just do it whenever, but, um, the course I really wanted to take, um, I got waitlisted for it. So I'm now 17th in a waitlist. And I'm super duper stressed about that. But it's okay because there are other course options that I can take. And just take that course because I do need that course. That's one of the two courses I need. Um, in the fall. So I'm trying not to be chicken little and say that the sky is falling because I can't take one course. Because I can take other courses. And it will be okay. Sometimes you just gotta take deep breaths, you know, and um, realize that, you know, I was on time for my time to register, and the fact that there's a wait list is out of my control. The fact that I didn't get in, out of my control, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, might be a miracle. There might be um, some way that I'll be able to do that course this year because there's still. There's still a month until that um, the courses start, so maybe, maybe I'll be able to do it. Maybe I will. Anyways, on a happier note, I bought Stardew Valley. If you don't know what Stardew Valley is, it's a video game, and, um, excuse me, it's like Harvest Moon, and I played Harvest Moon so much as a kid, but I got Stardew Valley, and it's good. It's so good. Before, I was like, I don't really know, I mean, the controls are different, and there's a lot to understand, but... It's good. I definitely recommend it. It's so cheap. It was like 20 bucks and it's so good. So more on that later, probably because I am obsessed. Okay. Hope you guys are having a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.